Well, the government can come in and search your home without a warrant, so should the same rules apply to searching your emails and cell phones? That's a question Congress is looking at today. The Senate Judiciary Committee has voted on making changes to the Electronic Communications Privacy Act. The law, passed in 1986, regulates how the government can monitor digital communications. But these days, Americans live uh, their lives have drastically expanded in the cyber and digital world. This is raising questions as to how far authorities can go in searching the vast amounts of information stored in cyberspace. Well, the proposed amendment would require police to get a warrant if they want to sift through your personal online or cell phone information. For more, let's go now to RT White House correspondent Christine Frizzow. She is on Capitol Hill. Hi there, Christine. Um, so uh, first off, I want to ask you what the latest is there on this bill. Well, the latest, Liz, is that the bill has passed out of the Senate Judiciary Committee as of this morning. Uh, this is, uh, in the eyes of a whole lot of people here, the first major hurdle. Of course, the bill has yet to face uh, the full Senate and the House. But as of now, uh, what this says is that, yes, as you mentioned, uh, police and other federal agencies must obtain a warrant in, able to in order to have access to any individual's electronic communications. We're talking about uh, stuff that's stored in, in your Gmail, uh, Google Docs, in in Facebook and Twitter. Uh, before, uh, the law was much different, and it's really crazy to think that we have gone this long, that the last version of this bill was, as you said, back in 1986. It's 2012 now, uh, and they uh, have finally done this. And something important that I should mention is that as of just a few days ago, there was some different language in the bill that made it so that 22 agencies, federal agencies, uh, like the Federal Communications Commission, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, would have been able to obtain information information simply by saying uh, it was necessary to an investigation, uh, they would have been able to do this without a warrant. That language has now been removed. Uh, privacy rights advocates, uh, people with the, uh, the American Civil Liberties Union, a lot of libertarian organizations, even Grover Norquist, whose name we've been hearing quite a lot, um, the president of Americans for Tax Reform, all of these uh, sort of different fashions have come together and they've said, you know what, this is a good thing. The government should not be able to do this uh, without getting permission. Just one other aspect of the bill I want to mention is that if they do obtain a warrant, uh, language in the bill says that unless it's a threat to, to uh, Homeland Security, that they have to let the person know. They have to let you know if they, in fact, get a warrant uh, to, to get your electronic communication. So uh, really a victory in the eyes of, of quite a few privacy rights advocates. Now, the president of the Senate Judiciary Committee is Patrick Leahy, a Democrat from Vermont. He's been around for uh, quite a long time now. Uh, even when this first bill was passed, uh, I spoke to his office a little while ago. He says this is a huge victory. Uh, this is much needed progress. He spoke uh, on camera just a little while ago. Three decades after the enactment of ECPA, Americans face even greater threats to their digital privacy. We witnessed the explosion of new technology and the expansion of the government's surveillance powers. And I might say those powers and not just the federal government, but state governments. Well, currently, and until this bill becomes law, it was very easy for agencies to get access to anything that's been stored on a third server, a third-party server, for more than 180 days. So that's about six months. If you've kept something, as we do, Liz, as most of us do, often keep emails and private communications because, as we know, we have so much storage. So this was so much easier to be able to get what they would call an administrative subpoena, and they simply have to say, this information, it could be useful to an investigation. Well, that is no longer, if this bill does end up passing, they will have to obtain a warrant. Well, Chrissy, it sounds like there is a lot at stake here, especially since a lot of us uh, conduct a lot of our lives online. Uh, what kind of concerns did the, does this raise in terms of our uh, Americans' Fourth Amendment rights? Well, I mean, quite a few, and it's very simple. I mean, the bottom line is for so many people in so many different federal agencies to simply be able to say, uh, you know, this could be helpful or useful in an investigation. Uh, that could be anyone. That could be you. That could be me. That could be anyone. Uh, and it has been that way for years now. I'm sure, um, you know, 
people involved in the, in the general Petraeus scandal would have preferred that this legislation would have already been passed. It, it's really crazy to think. I mean, think back to 1986, Liz. Uh, a lot of our viewers, first of all, weren't even born then. Crocodile Dundee and Top Gun were the top two movies of that year. And nobody knew anyone other than people deep into government or the IT world who even knew what the Internet was. Uh, information stored electronically for more than 180 days back then uh, was unheard of. And mostly uh, it would seem to be forgotten about. Today, uh, you know, I can find emails from years and years ago uh, in one of my email addresses. So it's just a, a needed piece of legislation. Uh, and it's just crazy to think it's taken this long. Wow, Christina, you mentioned those movies. That really does put it into perspective that times certainly have changed. Um, so I think it's pretty clear that this law, as it stands, the ECPA, has become pretty outdated. Well, it has. And, and we should, you know, really uh, hammer home that that has just passed the first hurdle. It has just gotten out of committee today, and it got out of committee uh, with the removal of that language that would have made it much easier um, for some of these federal agencies to have access to electronic communication without a warrant. Uh, again, uh, privacy rights advocates celebrating that. Um, but the bottom line is, yes, it is totally outdated. And this isn't the only thing, Liz. There are so many other things uh, with our everyday use of the Internet, With uh, you know, and, and certainly at RT we talk a lot about cybersecurity. Um, but this is the first step, and the Senate has taken it, and they've done so in a way uh, that those concerned about individual privacy are happy with. They say that we're moving in the right direction. Uh, but, you know, the, the full Senate is not expected to vote on this probably until the new session. Um, so, uh, again, uh, just a first step by today's action. Okay, and lastly, uh, if it does indeed pass, does it look like it'll have the, the backing of the, the White House? Well, it's really interesting because uh, there are some people within the Justice Department even that say, uh, yeah, this may be great for, for privacy advocates, but this is anti-law enforcement. This is anti, uh, you know, tough on crime. A lot of people uh, that, that wanted tougher restrictions and, and wanted it to be easier to get access to electronic communication say this is needed for law enforcement. Um, so, so again, uh, we do think, and, and it's looking like that despite the language that it passed with today out of committee, that there could be some amendments added onto it to make it, uh, you know, easier once again. As we know, uh, as things work here in Washington on Capitol Hill. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth, a lot of removing amendments and adding amendments and changing the wording. Um, so uh, again, it, it's a small step forward for those in favor of privacy, uh, but uh, it, it has a long way to go before it does become law. Um, so, you know, right. again, even people within the White House, within the Justice Department, uh, do want to see some, some changes that make it a little easier for some law enforcement agencies. All right, Christine, thanks for staying uh, on top of this very important piece of legislation that was RT White House correspondent Christine Frizzow.